is the third video that I promised, and it is apples. This video is a speed painting that shows my development of the third picture in the fruit series. The work was done on cold press watercolor paper. It's a Strathmore visual journal. And as you can see, I started out with putting clear water on the page and then now dropping in the red color for the first apple. Dropping in a little bit of yellow for highlighting and darker purple, and I think it's a moon glow for the shadows at the bottom of the apple. I'm using a couple of different shades of red. And as you can see, because there's water on the page, the paint wants to move freely and it helps to let the colors mingle. It's more fun and an interesting way to develop a watercolor painting rather than mixing all of your colors on the palette. So I'm continuing to develop the first apple. There's going to be three apples on this page. Again, adding a little more uh, depth to the apple. And here we go with the depression in the top where the stem is going to go. I use only one brush on these paintings. It's a small, round watercolor brush with a fairly sharp point on it. It holds just enough water and provides me the ability to do the right amount of detail that I'm looking for for these small uh, project paintings. Really exercises, I guess you could call them. Now apples are not always one consistent color, so in the case of, of this apple, I'm sort of going back and forth between bits of yellow and quinacrinone gold and different scarlets and reds to be able to bring the depth of the apple to life. These are good exercises to work on to practice shading, color development, and making something flat look like it's round uh, through the use of both color and the value of the color, darkness or lightness. Now I do have a flat brush here that I've started to use just to pull out a few highlights. Um, but primarily, as I said earlier, the brush that I use for these is that round, sharp pointed brush. When I'm pulling out highlights, that brush is somewhat dry, uh, but definitely clean and I have to get it wiped off when I pick up paint off the page. So you can see I'm starting the second apple and putting clear water on the page and then dropping in the green color. I guess this one's going to be a Granny Smith apple. I have to be careful when I'm working on a project where there are multiple shapes that are going to touch each other uh, that I've provided for a little bit of drying time for the first object so that it doesn't bleed into the second one. Unless, of course, that's an effect that I'm trying to achieve. But in this case, uh, I'm, I'm not. Here we are again, pulling out some lighter areas, adding a depression area for where the stem is going to go. And then now shadows on the bottom of the apple and the side of it so it looks like it's behind the first one. And then here we are with apple number three. The 
This one looks like it's going to be a golden delicious. And uh, adding some shading at the bottom, starting out with some greens. And now a little bit of deeper golds. Dabbing a little here and there to be able to both control the water and add some lighter highlighted areas and again a shaded depression area where the stem's going to go. And I sit back and take a look and go back and forth between the different shapes on the page. Uh, once the paint dries, the colors can change a little bit and so the intensity of the color Sometimes I want to, before I'm completely finished, just add a little here and there to uh, bring out either the color value or a deeper tonal value for depth. As you can see here, I am going back in on the Golden Delicious yellow one with some darker colors to show the base of the apple and to indicate that it's you know, sitting behind the red the red apple in front. I had a little bit of too much water on my brush at that point, looks like. Dabbing it off a bit and trying again. Going back and forth between yellow and green. The paint that I'm using, you can see the palette in the top right hand corner, it's primarily uh, Daniel Smith watercolors and uh, I find it's an excellent product. The colors are brilliant and uh, do wonderful things on the page. It's beautiful paint. Here we go with the stems at the top. I'm never quite satisfied with the darkness at the bottom. And I've cut away um, to go into uh, adding the shade on the bottom, which I did with uh, a violet. And now you can see I'm applying the word apple or apples to the bottom of the page. I'm going to let the paint dry on this text that I'm adding in before I apply some highlights with a white gel pen as I did in the other uh, fruit uh, videos that you may have already seen. I'm not being crazy fussy on the lettering that I'm doing. Uh, again, this is an exercise um, just really for fun and to develop my watercolor chops. And there's the gel pen. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. It was a cool project to do. Maybe you might want to try it out yourself. Thanks again for watching.